We're Larry and Kathy Grove, and uh, I'm chair of the RAP Center for Education Board, and the two of us own a farm here. Our, our farm is Bell Ridge Farm, uh, situated right on the Bessie Bell Mountain, i.e. the B-E-L-L-E -L -L -E Ridge Farm. We have a cow-calf operation, hog operation. We raise chickens and turkeys. My name is Mike Sands, and I'm the owner-operator of Bean Hollow Grass-Fed. Uh, we're situated on about 200 acres uh, here in Flint Hill. We produce grass-fed beef, grass-fed lamb, pastured pork. It's a small farm. Financial success depends on one, driving our costs of production down, but two, getting the best possible price for our product. In our case, that means selling retail cuts directly to the public. Uh, in order to do that, we need to process our animals through USDA certified um, slaughter plants. We're lucky in, in this part of Virginia. There are a couple of uh, small plants that are USDA um, certified. The challenge that all of them have uh, is hard to find qualified butchers. During COVID, uh, this problem just exploded. There was a significant backlog. The processors were overwhelmed. Right now, if you wanted to process a cow, and today is October the 4th, you might have to get a date in July of next year. That's before the cow, the calf is born. A large part of this is due to the fact that there is a, a lack of skilled, trained butchers in the area to employ. So processors are limited to the few folks they have on hand to make their work happen. As a result of the challenges that a lot of the small producers experienced during COVID, getting the Piedmont Environmental Council and the American Farmland Trust uh, conducted a study to look at the capacity issues in our local uh, slaughterhouses. And one of the principal uh, responses that came out of that was a need for additional training. There is no formal training program available uh, for meat cutters or butchers. In response to this growing need in our community here in Rappahannock, we decided that we could contribute uh, to the solution by offering butchery programs where people could come in and be trained and then be able to work with the processors to increase their capacity. Developed a curriculum that the Rappahannock Center for Education has adopted and they now are active in doing um, short courses for um, aspiring butchers and meat cutters. Hi, my name is Trey Williams. I'm the instructor for the Rappahannock Center for Education Meat Cutter Instructional Program. The students participate in a 12-week program that will cover everything from poultry to lamb to beef to pork and also secondary processing like sausage and bacon. Our goal here at the school is to train folks on how to process and fabricate various cuts of meat and enable them to seek employment in the local meat cutting industry. We have farmers out here that need to have their animals processed and connect with their customers and having skilled, trained butchers that are employed is the way to close this loop. This work by uh, RAP Center for Education is a huge um, benefit to the local um, slaughterhouses. It's also another source of, an, of additional jobs for the community and just builds more resilience into the food system for the community of, of Rappahannock and our surrounding uh, counties.